This exhibition is entitled Red Bull Art of the Can and it represents a unique partnership between UAB and Red Bull North America. Red Bull's shown themselves to be very interested over the last several years in supporting works by um, and about students and also about looking at contemporary artists and helping them to work in a really unusual way. They like to sponsor competitions where people actually work with Red Bull soda cans. So we're talking about people taking an aluminum can, a standard can, although the Red Bull can is actually a unique shape in terms of the size, and actually trying to do something unusual or unexpected with those cans. They've had a number of exhibitions previously, one in Atlanta, one in Philadelphia, and an upcoming one in Chicago. What's so great about our current exhibition is that Red Bull actually approached UAB with the idea of including a student competition as part of the event. So when you enter the gallery, what you find is that all the works that have come from the Red Bull corporate collection are in the front gallery, and the over 50 works which were generated by students enrolled in UAB studio art classes are found in the back gallery. There's some really incredible pieces and it really shows us uh, as educators how innovative students can be when they are given an opportunity that might fall outside their normal scope of classroom work. So for example, the winner of the competition, the student competition, Tim Eisel, did a piece called a Red Bull Replacing Messenger Pigeons Worldwide and it's a combination of a traditional oil painting and a collaged element of a Red Bull can to which is strapped a message which looks like a carrier pigeon. Uh, UAP sculpture student John Butler did a very interesting work where he created a uh, steel framework of a chair and then he in a sense upholstered the chair with Red Bull cans. He also built a matching lamp. Again, the armature is made of welded steel and the lampshade itself is made of stapled together Red Bull cans. We also see um, Bernard Abujade's incredible car, which looks like a Formula One race car. And he, in fact, built a framework model for his race car out of cardboard and foam core. And then he essentially clad the car uh, in the inside of Red Bull cans, which gives it its distinctive silver color. So what we see are some very unique pieces, people working with materials they might normally use. And I think the best comment I got from most of our students was, well, we enjoyed it very much because it was something we wouldn't have normally expected to do.